What's up, Rap Potential YouTube? We are finally getting back to the vert. She was a little battery was a little low, so I had to jump it. But we are going to get this TPS adjusted right. So I think in here, right here. No, that's an issue with TPS. Um, I think I can set it. Set the TPS scale. To read properly. There's a bird up there. And make it right. So I'm gonna put it with that and hope I can get it fixed so that way we're reading properly. But time to play. Once I figure it out, I will show y'all. Alright y'all, so I adjusted the TPS per the manual with the ohm meter. However, I couldn't get it to idle where the shit, where the crap, I couldn't get it to idle where the crap, if you look right here, see how it changes, means we got a vacuum leak, most likely on the injectors if I had to guess where they're pushed in, or it's the lower intake manifold, so hopefully that works, I gotta take it apart and fix it now, whoop de freaking do, here we go. So, in addition to being all over the place in this video, Bird sitting on the sun, been running pretty good, playing with some tune stuff. We're back here working on the brown car. So, I've got uh, Mega Squirts all hooked up. It's getting mad because I'm running it, uh, basically I'm only running it fuel only, so it's getting mad that I don't have the coil stuff set up, but that's fine. So, I think I figured out what is the tax signal wire. So, when you run fuel only on the Mega Squirt, the table is set up with RPM and map. So, if you don't have RPM signal, it doesn't know where it's at, so it gets confused. So Right here is the tax signal wire, um, pin number 24 on that. Jumper to this, jumper cables as usual, jumper in the fuel pump on, and right now I need to flip the computer around and crank it to see if I have a tax signal. So if I have a tax signal, then I'll turn the fuel pump on and we'll see what it does as far as if it'll start or if it won't, because I think before it just wouldn't, it's not gonna start because it doesn't have a tax signal. So now that it has one, Hopefully, we'll uh, let's just start. so I'll put you guys here. And what we're looking for is that should bounce a little bit, ideally. Maybe I didn't see it move. Reading manifold and coolant temp though. Let's just hit it with some hit it with some fuel, see what it does. Nothing. What the heck? So we already checked spark the last time we checked it. And we had good spark. We got all the plugs hooked back up. That should be the tax signal wire coming from the negative on the trailing coil. You switch it to the leading coil, see what it does. I don't know. We'll be back. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the manifolds back off here this evening or tomorrow, and I'm gonna try to put a set of just stock injectors in this car. So stock FC injectors, which I have some laying around here from my convertible. So, I'm going to take the set, well, maybe I'll just take the secondaries from the Vert, the 750s. Either way, I'm going to take one of these injectors here, a set of these. I know that those injectors are good and that they work. They ran my car for three years and was working when I took it apart. 
whenever I go to Charles' house today, because I need to leave here in a little bit to help him work on the turbo truck, which I'll film some of that here. Um, I'm gonna grab two connectors to plug into those, if he has some there. Um, basically they look like this right here. So this style connector, um, this is just an S5 arc 7 connector pretty much standard for a lot of your injectors out there same as an FD the whole deal so get some of two of those connectors if I can't I'll just buy some alligator clips and alligator clip it in I'm gonna do away with this resistor pack that's in here and I'm gonna wire it up to those two injectors try it that way second thing I'm gonna do is figure out why it's not reading a tax signal so I've got it hooked up here but I still don't know why because that tack should be bouncing, so I did spray. I can just do it for you real quick. While it's all still hooked up, I took some brake clean, sprayed it in there, and cranked it. And you saw in the last video about this car, I was able to get it to like pop off a little bit, but not quite run, you know? So I got that working, but even when it was like popping and firing, it wasn't, the engine RPM wasn't bouncing. Now, I don't know about the refresh rate on this, if it's going to read while it's cranking, but it should read that it is cranking because it should be putting cranking fuel in to the car. The other thing I need to do is make sure I have fuel pressure. So while I have the intake manifolds off, I'm going to make sure that I have this fuel pump hooked up the right way, that I'm not pumping it, like sucking it through the line. I need to be pushing it through, whatever. I don't have the pump hooked up backwards, but either way, that's where we stand for now. So, to Charles' house. What's up guys? This video is all over the place. But anyway, it's another day. We are out here getting ready to test fit. If this focuses, focus. Some new Johnnies on the vert. So I really like the Graham lights because I love that style of wheel. It's a seven spoke, odd spokes are my thing, but they're really aggressive. And I really don't want to like pull my fenders out that much. So I've got them rolled pretty good and the rear is a little aggressive too, but I could roll that up. But my buddy Johnny has a set of these on his FD, and uh, he's thinking about some new wheels. So I asked if I could test fit them on mine, and I've got them both here. So these are 17 by 9 square wheels. However, the front has a 255 45, and the rear has a 275 45. So not too keen on having like square wheels with different tire sizes, but. We're going to get these mounted up here real quick. I know it's dark, so you probably can't see much, but we're going to get them mounted up so that way tomorrow morning when I'm leaving for work, I can see them and uh, kind of see if I like them or not. So, yeah, so I haven't fixed the vacuum leak. I got need to take the tune off the car for the Mega Squirt build and send it to one of my friends who knows more about the Mega Squirt than me, and maybe he can figure out why my ECU is not reading a tack signal, even though it's hooked up to the right wire on the pinout, and... It's hooked up to the coil just like it should be, and it's not reading tack. So, yeah. Wheels on the vert. Oh, and also, so I just like stepped in the garage from that last hippie saw. I've installed a receiver with speakers in the corners of the shop, and I have two outdoor speakers laying here that I'm going to be putting under the um, outside of the roof, so where the roof overhang is on the front, I'm going to mount two of them out there, so that way, when we're riding bikes and stuff, or when I'm in the shop, we can jam. So, it is super loud. One thing that I've always done, had this in my fraternity room too, is uh, you buy a name tag retractor, which it just fell off, it made me need to reconfigure. But if you buy a name tag retractor, tie it off to your aux cord, you can just pull it down. It's like super... Super flex points right there when you do that. So obviously I need to reconfigure that, but we did that too. So I'm gonna grab my, oh. I always had my sockets in this drawer for probably five years they were in this drawer. And then I switched them to this drawer. Kid you not, every time I always open the wrong one. It's stupid, so dumb. Pretty sure it's a 19 on that car now. Short extension. The ratchet we'll go grab the jack head up there pull them wheels off all right so here it is it's 
Y'all can't see nothing really on there, but I got them on. They fit a lot better, a lot less aggressive. They're within the fenders. Probably won't actually mess up the fender at all. If it rubs, same up here. I need to lower this because I had it real high, so I don't want it to rub. And here you can see the old setup kind of. I'll walk around in the morning tomorrow. So, that's that. Still crappy. Lower this. So, yeah, I'll show you in the morning. Alright, guys, it's the morning, which means it's flat outside and I can show you the car. So, Swapped out gram lights for some Volks. I think it looks pretty good. So, gram lights here. So, the gram lights were a 265 in the rear on an 1810 that's plus 22, so sticking out pretty hefty pass what these are so if you look in the back here well inside the fender actually about right um, these are a 17.9 plus 41 and they have a 275 on them 275 40 so still clears on the inside that was the big thing I was worried about was inside clearance being that they're sucked so far in the rear plenty room the front though is really tight so Square wheel, if you remember, but this has a 255.40 and the tire just bulges a little bit to, to get close. So I guess if I'd run a 5 mil spacer up here, it would be about perfect. So, you can see plenty of room to do that. I do need to lower the front down. I had it cranked up because with the plus 22 set 18.9 in the front on the other set, it was really close to the fender. As you can see, right here. So, you can see that sticks out pretty good, which is why I had it raised up. Even the rear poke's pretty good too. So, that's the main reason behind looking at different wheels, is just those are super aggressive. Um, and my buddy Vinny, who had them before on his RX-7, he like had the fenders rolled and he's got them pulled out pretty good. And, you know, he says it didn't take much to make them fit, but... I'm not pulling my fenders out. I really like my stock body. I don't really want to tear it up too bad. So I think we might be switching. So luckily, wheels in this market, especially real real wheels, are not that hard to sell. So it should be pretty easy to get rid of those and probably get these for the car. I think it looks pretty good. Here's your, your distance shot. So, and these are a Volk GTP, I believe. So, I believe it is a true three-piece. Um, they do come apart. I have the freaking shakes. Bad. They should come apart. They are in their original state, so the original stickers are a little bit war, and the uh, faces could use a good cleaning. Still has the coins in the center. And I'm curious if anyone knows if there's supposed to be a cover for these, for the caps. This is threaded. So I'm curious if there's an actual cover for the uh, lug nuts, but who knows. They're in pretty good shape. No rash or anything. So with that, I'm going to close the video. End it out there. Sorry I didn't upload last week. I just really didn't do much that ne that was worthy of filming to make an entire video out of. I was kind of all over the place with stuff I was doing. So with that, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe if you want to see rotary content, really, and some bike stuff. And, uh... New video comes out about the Beamer. Thanks for watching. Keep it rad.